Hello everyone, it's Salvatore from Objects Labs, and the time is over for this dev kit. For almost a decade I have been my controller enthusiast, starting with the basic PIC programming kits and working my way up to Arduino, ESP32, NRF and STM32. But after countless projects and dev kits I realized something, there was a gap. I needed a board that could handle any kind of IoT application, a dev kit capable of focusing on communication protocols and modular power supply for any use. That's why we decided to develop Objects Link. This new dev kit can handle up 100 watts. But wait, there is more. These two dev kits can communicate with each other from miles away with LoRa protocol. And this board boasts an incredible low power consumption, down to a few nanoampere. Basically, with this dev kit you can design any kind of IoT project. So guys, you can pre-order now Objects Link on our store, you can find the link below in the description. Objects. Please also visit ObjectsLabs.com. This is the Objects Link S3LW, and this is the ELPM S3LW. These two boards are designed to simplify the design of IoT solutions. But first, how you can use this board? It's like an Arduino Uno or a classic ESP32 dev kit, but with superpowers. You can develop the same project plus you can make new ones. In particular, with this board you can power loads such as motors, striplets and more. So finally you don't have to use external power supply along with classic dev kit like Arduino. In addition, this board allows you to optimize the energy efficiency of your battery power project. In fact, in deep stop mode, the board draws only a few nanoampere. This feature is very useful if you develop a project with solar panels or low power solutions. And last but not least, this board is compatible with four communication protocols, Wi-Fi 4, BLE, ESP Now and LoRa. And we have already developed a version with the ESP32C6 that integrates other protocols. So we have developed a compact and flexible solution that ensures you can develop most of your project with just one dev kit. There are many dev kits on the market that integrate sensors, displays and other components that go into specializing the use of the dev kit itself. But we believe that it's better to integrate only the necessary components into a dev kit. If I need to integrate a sensor, I can do it later with an external board. These two products are designed for expert and beginner users. Now I will explain how to use them, but first... This project is sponsored by PCBWay. You can buy your PCBs for only $5. Check the link below to place your first order. So let's start by taking a closer look at the dev kit. You can power and program the board with the USB-C connector. This supports the power delivery PPS 3.0, means that unlike the classic USB connector that allow you to power the board at 5V 2A, this one allows you to power the board up 21V 5A, so about 100W. In addition, you can set a specific voltage and current value, so you can smartly control any kind of load. Objects Link, in this way, becomes a small portable power supply. Of course, choosing a compatible power delivery power supply is essential, but I will give you a good news. You most likely already have it. Many phones and laptops support this standard, so you can use these chargers to power the board. As you can see, with these few components I develop a small power supply. Through this encoder I set voltage and current value. Understand that with power delivery you can power a variety of loads that you cannot usually power with dev kit on the market. As you can see I can control the brightness of this LED strip, which works at 12 volt. You can also easily control motors, you can connect several of them. And finally, you no longer have to use any DCDC step up of your project. As you can see, I'm powering this fan at 12 volt. So let's see another feature of this board. How often do you find yourself disconnecting the USB-C cable every time you change the hardware of one of your project? With Objects Link, you no longer should. This switch that allows you to turn off the board. Also, the board supports the Adafruit Stemma standard, so you can use the sensor you already have in your lab with this dev kit. 
In this demo, I control the brightness of the LED strip with this brightness sensor. As you can see, it's much easier to make loads interact with sensors. Without the power delivery, we would have to use an external power supply with a MOSFET controlled by a GPO via PVM. The board has a power system consisting of a DC-DC and an LEDO. The DC-DC takes care of dropping the voltage coming from the USB-C connector into 5 volt 2 ampere. The LDO provides the 3.3 volt to the dev kit. We didn't not add a battery manager because we preferred not to put a specific battery manager for a specific battery. As you can see, the DC-DC is able to guarantee 2 ampere without overheating the board. And Objects Link also has a serial bridge along with an auto reset circuit that gives you the ability to program the board via USB C connector. The board is compatible with the ESP ADF, Arduino IDE, Platform IO, MicroPython, and Rust. Now let's write a very simple firmware for our Objects Link. First, we need to connect the board to our PC. For this example, I will use Platform IO, so let's create a new project. And let's make a very simple Blink LED firmware. So I have connected the LED to JPO6. Now let's program the board and here we go. As you can see, it's very simple. It's like programming an ESP32. This one is another demo firmware to control the RGB LED under the object's logo. As you can see, use object's link is very simple. These headers provide granular control over the ELPMS3 LW module's power supply, enabling reducing power consumption for battery power applications. For example, if I want to bypass the LED, I can remove this jumper. Or for example, you can bypass the LoRa integrated circuit with this header. The deep stop mode is a feature of ELPMS3 LW and ELPMS3. This is not just another sleep mode. The deep stop mode consists of a power latch and an external RTC combined with a smart power management system that controls the ESP32 S3, the SX1262 and all loads connected to 3.3 path. By controlling the power supply to all connected loads, it's possible to minimize the power consumption, thus increase the life of battery. In addition, an external MOSFET can be driven to control multiple loads. And this is the power consumption in deep stop mode without RTC. And this test is with RTC. And as you can see, the power consumption is very low. During the testing of the ELPMS 3LW, I used Zimablade to do some tests. Zimablade is a single board server. You can use Zimablade for different purposes, such as smart home application, to connect all your devices. You can also install Red Node and other cool apps for IoT, and there are many expansion ports, such as PCI, SATA, Ethernet, USB. Below in the description you can find the link to learn more about Zimablade. A big thanks to Zimaboard team for providing me this incredible device. This board, since it's based on the ELPMS 3LW, support the LoRa protocol. But wait, what is LoRa? Unlike Wi-Fi or BLE, LoRa can send data over great distance, even up to miles. In this way, the ELPMS 3LW to be able to talk to other devices even several miles away. In addition, LoRa LoRa is much more efficient in terms of power consumption than Wi-Fi and BLE. The ESP32-S3 and the SX1262, so the LoRa integrated circuit, are connected to each other via SPI. Developing LoRa devices with objects link has never been easier. Here is an example. As you can see, the firmware is very simple. I'm using the Radiolib library, and this UC is a simple example. So we have two dev kit talking to each other through LoRa. From this dev kit via this button, I remotely turn on and off the LED strip which is powered via power delivery. For example, you can control loads such as motors, LED strip, display, transmission systems such as GPS modules, 4 and 5G modules, gateways, or remotely via LoRa or even via Wi-Fi. We have carried out several long range tests and for now we have ensured you that your maximum range exceeds 10 km. 
As you can well guess, you can combine LoRa with Power Delivery, allows you to develop new projects that was not possible before with a simple dev kit. Then we have four buttons, boot and reset for ESP32S3, user button that is connected to a specific GPO, and then we have the wake button, is used to wake up the power latch. This turns on the ESP32S3 and all components connected to a 3.3 volt. We have included this RGB LED as a status LED and I remind you it's possible to bypass the LED by removing the power from this header. In this way you can reduce the power consumption of your project. And these guys are the main features of Objects Link. As you may have already guessed it's possible to buy and use only the modules for a custom applications. A bit like you are used to do with the official ESP32 modules. But first, what are the main differences of ELPMS 3 lw and ESP32? The short answer is the purpose of the two modules is different. The ELPMS 3 lw unlike the ESP32 S3 module, is designed for extreme low power applications and more generally for industrial applications that also require the use of LoRa. Also, the LPMs are perfect for energy harvesting applications. I recommend reading the documentation below to take a look at all features of LPMs. To use LPMs in your own project, it's easy. You just create a new project, for example on KiCad, and go to the official LPM GitHub repo. In this way, you can download the symbol and the footprint and you are ready to use the LPM for your project. In addition to the documentation, on our website we are adding several example designs for you. For both DevKit and modules, we have developed variants without LoRa. This way, the price per module is lower. In general, the prices of the modules you find in our shop are either because we have manufactured a limited quantity for you to test the modules and the DevKits. You can pre-order now the DevKits and the modules on our shop. So guys, what do you think about the new dev kits and modules? Any suggestion for improving the project? I look forward to your feedback below. And thank you guys for watching the video until the end and see you next time.